Good morning. This is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A Sioux Falls man is behind bars accused of stealing a shotgun from Shields, and that's not all. Police say after leaving the store, Ezekiel Two Dogs pointed the gun at a couple of people before running off. Authorities say his next stop was Augustana University, where he allegedly stole a maintenance vehicle. Authorities eventually caught up with two dogs in a neighborhood near the cathedral. He faces several charges, including aggravated assault and grand theft. And we have an update on a burglary near Del Rapids. Authorities have recovered the gun that Johnny Hawkins Jr. is accused of stealing from a home. Authorities believe he'd been in the house for several hours before someone came home. When they did, Hawkins is accused of threatening them with the gun and trying to steal a car before running off. Hawkins is behind bars, facing several charges, but investigators are still looking for other things he allegedly took from the home. A 25-year-old man is headed to prison following a January crash that left several people hurt. A judge sentenced Colin Hansen to 20 years behind bars. He previously pleaded guilty to two counts of vehicular battery. As part of the plea agreement, 18 other charges were dropped, including DUI, possession of meth, hit and run, and reckless driving. On January 20th, Hansen was behind the wheel when police tried to pull him over. He sped off, ran a red light at 10th Street and Sycamore Avenue, where he crashed into another vehicle. The two people in the car Hansen hit were seriously hurt. A week after the crash, one of the victims told Kello Land News their lives had been turned upside down. Hansen was found to be under the influence of Delta 9, THC and meth and admitted to fentanyl use prior to the crash. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens cooling off and maybe some snow out there today, Brian. Yes, just enough to tease us here by tonight and tomorrow morning. In fact, we have a part of Kendall Land under a winter weather advisory. That includes Mowbridge and Aberdeen. Effectively here, the combination of a nuisance snow with some wind will create some slick travel, reduce visibilities. Because remember, the wind gusts will still be at least at 40 miles per hour, if not more. So we want to pay attention to that. Most of the day part forecast, though, will stay in the 40s in Aberdeen, projecting a high near 44. Sioux Falls even closer to 50, but a west wind today at 20 to 35. That's a quick look at weather. We'll get details on the weekend forecast in just a couple minutes. Thank you, Brian. Mural decorators at the Corn Palace are making progress at the popular tourist spot. Thursday, staff were enjoying nice weather as they finished up the Bob Barker mural. The 2024 theme is famous South Dakotans. The Corn Palace director says they're short a few decorators right now, so it'll take a little longer to finish up all nine murals. He hopes to have the murals wrapped up by mid-January if the weather cooperates. The Washington Pavilion's most recent Broadway show was one for the history books. Disney's Aladdin shattered multiple records, including ticket sales, generating more than $1 million in revenue. It's the highest grossing event in Pavilion history and comes just months after the success of Beetlejuice. Two of the top five all-time best-selling shows in our history now have happened in the last three months. Um, all five have happened just in recent years. So that's really important for us to continue building on this success and keep getting more and more of those great shows. And that's what people should expect moving forward. The 25th Broadway series continues January 12th through the 14th with To Kill a Mockingbird. We've provided a list of the top five performing shows at the Pavilion under this story right here on Kelloland.com. South Dakota State University football is gearing up for the third round of playoffs on Saturday. The Jackrabbits will play eighth seed Villanova. The competition is heating up for the undefeated Jackrabbits, but SDSU fans have confidence in their team. It's football, it's playoffs, anything can happen, but I would be very surprised, shocked, even if something were to happen. If they were to lose, I should say, I would be very surprised. The game starts at 11 a.m. in Brookings. If SDSU wins, they're only two victories away from another national championship.
Well, that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right. As we look at the maps here for tonight and early tomorrow morning, winter weather advisory is in effect for Mobridge, Gettysburg, Aberdeen. Uh, bottom line is it's a snow and wind event here. Not tremendous amounts of snow, but even an inch or two with the wind can create some slick travel and uh, some reduced visibility. So we'll continue to watch and monitor that story. Our upfront forecast on snow predictions still uh, edging toward at least a couple of inches in Mobridge. The Aberdeen area is probably about one to two. Watertown, maybe we get up to an inch of snow. And then the farther we work our way south and east towards Sioux Falls, the more we decrease the amount of snow. So it trends less than an inch. And I would argue the farther south you get from Sioux Falls, even less. Uh, West River, too, not very much to this system at all here for Rapid City. But nevertheless, we do see cooler weather. And also, everybody gets to share in on the wind story. Uh, there's plenty of that to go around today. 30 to 50 mile an hour winds in Rapid City. Sioux Falls will be every bit of 20 to 35 much of the day. And in fact, there'll be more wind here tonight as this little Spoke of energy comes on in and pivots in from North Dakota. There's that snow. It's not a lot of snow, but at least it's something, and it lets us know that, yeah, it's December. It can still produce a little bit of wintry weather from time to time. Certainly it's blustery when it's snowing. Uh, and the forecast tomorrow, the hourly temperatures are not very warm. We're stuck in the mid-20s most of the day in Sioux Falls, and with the wind, it's going to feel colder than that. And so if we end up even with just a very light coating of snow in the morning, chances are it's going to stick around. It's not going to melt during the day tomorrow. And then, of course, we'll carry over some pretty chilly weather on Sunday morning. There's a closer look at our wind forecast. It's pretty much draped there in the orange and the red uh, this afternoon. And we're going to continue that tonight. There's no reducing the wind forecast. I think we'll carry some pretty good momentum on those wind numbers first thing tomorrow morning. So that's incorporated into the forecast for the winter weather advisory. Do we lose the wind tomorrow afternoon? Well, slowly, but it's still quite gusty all the way through the end of the afternoon. And then by Sunday, it looks a little bit less on the wind. Don't forget the end of the forecast. Look at this. This is your 6 to 10 day. Much above normal weather is returning. So, no, this is not a long-lasting, um, you know, introduction into winter, if you will. It's going to be just a quick hit, and then that's about it. 50 today in Sioux Falls, 46 Brookings. Your seven-day forecast, low to mid-40s for early next week. I think probably at this point it stays mainly dry through day seven. Uh, there is still the talk of a system in the southwest next week. We'll see. That's got, again, there's still a lot of time yet to examine where that could go. So Aberdeen is basically whatever falls tonight and early tomorrow morning. And then uh, once that's done, I think we'll uh, put away any mention of snow for now. Pier in central South Dakota, uh, again, we'll get grazed by this system tonight and early tomorrow. There is a subtle system coming into the maps here on Monday. Is that worth a 20% chance of some precipitation? Perhaps, and we'll keep that mainly West River on Monday, but we're back in the 40s in Rapid City pretty much all through the forecast. Check out details with your weather online at kettleland.com.